looking for lessons from all students who said. During Friday's drill, students are to wait for the announcements, then to report to your sign area with your teacher. Hmm. So for me, for a hundred percent investment, I need um, there's more expectations that need to be met. So yes, we will wait for an announcement, but when the students walk out of the classroom, they must remain with the teacher, walk in an orderly fashion to the nearest exit door that has already been assigned to the assigned place on the field. Yes, students are also expected to walk through the halls quietly. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Hello, Sharks. My name is Sianna, and I'm pitching that idea that we make an investment in our students and staff that we have more discussion of what to do during a lockdown. If you're in the hallways, if you're in the bathroom, or if you're in a classroom with a, a substitute, what you should do and what your procedure should be. Okay. I like this, uh, I like this idea. Uh, what are your thoughts on, what, what's the procedure in the classroom? What are your ideas that you are pitching? My ideas that I'm that I am pitching is that we all remain quiet, remain calm, go to the designated area in the classroom that you're supposed to go to and do as a teacher or substitute is telling you to do. Okay. okay, and you brought up substitute teacher. I recall walking in the classroom where you had a substitute teacher. How did that work out? Yes, our substitute was very confused as in so where we should stand at because I guess she was a new substitute and she didn't know whether like she didn't know that you guys will check the doors so you guys like tag on the doors and of course it scared her a lot so. all right 2019 with emergency issues and all types of safety concerns I will be sold if you can pitch me an idea on how we can support a substitute teacher Sharks, I'm looking for 100% investment entering and exiting through the appropriate doors and going to your assigned area once inside. I'm not 100% sold yet. I need to know why is that important to only come in the front door and not the exterior doors. Well, it is a safety concern that anybody could be let in through a side door that is not being monitored, that's not on camera. And that would be a good way to get us into a lockdown, and that's something we don't want to have. That's, that's good. Uh, what about, I know that it's important to go to your assigned area once you're in the building. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. And I believe that to be important because everybody should be in the appropriate place that they're going to each and every moment of the day. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I'm not sold yet because it needs to be more specific right around lunchtime. Uh, what parameters do you have in place to make sure students understand that, hey, lunchtime is just like a classroom, you need to go to the assigned area? Well, if a student, at the, when the student's lunch happens during third block, that student needs to report to the cafeteria and then needs to stay in the cafeteria for the entire 26 minutes unless they have a pass to go back to their teacher. Okay, I need a time frame as far as expectation of when to arrive to the cafeteria for lunch as well. Uh, maybe I made some observations where students are reporting to lunch 10 minutes after lunch starts. The students should be reporting to lunch within four minutes, which is the same time frame we get between classes. So, 100% in. Well, wait, wait, wait. I know that they're easily sold, but I'm not quite there yet. What about if during lunchtime, if a student sends a friend to, let's say, the poppy store or another fast food location, would it be okay for them to prop the door open to retrieve that food? Absolutely not. 